Hello, board members. How are we doing this? Fine, fine. Uh, relaxed Saturday morning. Well, I hope. We're going to be continuing just a little bit of under rail. Now, are we going to die a lot? Yes. Am I going to get frustrated a little bit? Probably. But that's okay. We'll definitely make that up with gotten loot. All right, let's go talk to Gorski. Oh, wait. Did I miss this other barrel? Oh, there, well, we'll take the shell casing since those don't weigh anything. Yeah, I, have to, I just have to remember that there's no actual reason to do combat if I don't have to, since we don't get XP from combat. The combat in this is, like, totally optional. Where's the bar? Must be over here, then? No, this is like... Oh, this is inside of this area. Which I think we were here before, but... Maybe it's over there? Oh, there's the elevator. Okay, great. We can take the elevator. Oh, there's another medical facility down here. <laughs> Requires lockpicking 40, though. I mean, technically we have that, but everyone can see me, so... Not great. Um, Hardcore City Bar. Let me save again before I forgot. Forget post bugs too. With something that's so RNG based, I guess we just gonna have to really rely on the stealth. Or the saving a lot, I should say. Um Oh, okay, we gotta go this way. Okay, that's the electronics guy. And there's the general store and the gun store should be over here. Hi. Uh, what do you have for sell? Okay, so you should want all these shell casings I got, right? Shotgun shells. Empty shotgun shells. 3P tungsten shotgun shells. Dragon and hollow points. I don't need those anymore. I don't need that anymore. 12.7s I guess I can hold on to. Still continue to not need shotgun shells. Ord five five millimeters. Seven seven sodas. And you don't want any guns. I don't have any plants for you. We can auto trade for this. Wow, you have a lot more stuff this time around, ma'am. The last time we were here, you had like half of this. Oh. You got some new armors, too. Okay. Not as good as our current armor. But you do have some armors. Guns. Shotgun frame. Multiple steels. Um, oh, you know what we... I think we're out of? I think I might be out of weapon repair kits. Oh, batteries. Batteries is another thing. Do you have batteries? Doesn't look like you have batteries. Where is... Okay, yeah, it's a little cup that has, like, pins in it is the batteries. I can never remember what the batteries look like. Because there's these ones, but that's going to be a waste because our nothing we have, I think, holds 100 energy. Yeah, this is 64, and our I think our other thing is only 60, so that's not going to do us any good. Uh, we don't have any electronic stuff to repair. we got a Hacksaw Mark III already, so yeah, we'll just take this stuff. Let's see. I think I sold this guy all the guns, right? 
Do you want more guns or not? Um, oh, you do want armors, though. How many armors? Two right armors. One metal armor. What does this count as? I guess it just says armor suit. I don't know what that counts as. I don't know what that counts as. Ah, oh, this is an energy sh energy shield emitter right here. Okay. Okay, you still want guns from me. That's good. Five. Oh, right. But the problem is, is you don't have any ammo or any money. That's right. That's the problem. I forgot you don't have any money left. You have $1,400 worth of stuff. Okay. Well, you can have that, I guess, if you want it. Um, <laughs> he has $1,000 worth of stuff. Okay. Okay. Um, no Molotovs or nothing. Just hand grenades. How much are hand grenades? 1500 for hand grenades. Huh. Okay. You can have those darts. Oh, wait. He had something to say about Alfred or whatever his name is, right? T12, welcome. Uh, yeah, Alphabet. I'm afraid to rearrange itself into a less mean expression. Please don't ask me that again. <laughs> okay. Rather not talk about that thing. Oh. Wait, is Alphabet actually AI fabricator? Is he actually a robot? Is that the joke? But welcome, T12. We're we're continuing to try to make this sniper rifle build work. And it continues to elude me. But how are you doing, T12? We actually had another uh player of, of this this fine fine module come in here. Woot woot. I don't know if you're still around Woot Woot, but we had Woot Woot in here. Uh, let's see. What else do I need to get rid of? Bandages can stay. Dirty rags can go away. This, All this stuff can go away. That we could probably keep. Oh, technically I could use one of those right now. Actually, I can probably use those. Shock bolt that. Yep, still here. Oh, okay. But apparently, much like myself, Woot Woot is in fact a newbie to this this module. That apparently, they've got about 20 hours in. Flash grenades can stay. Keys, that can go away. Oh, I don't need that many nets, probably. Do I have caltrips? Oh, I don't have any caltrips on me. Odd. Food, keep the keys. That's a quest item. All the rest of this can basically go away. Keep the hand grenade. What am I using for bullets right now? 7.62s and 9s. Okay, so most of this can go away. Okay, we're down to 82 pounds. That's not too bad. That, that, that can go away. High explosive grenades is probably fine. Yeah, that's that's probably fine. And luckily, I guess since the AI won't ever rob us, we can just leave this stuff here until whenever. So the heat death of the universe. And beyond. Um, ammo? Okay, 7.62s can come with us. The rest of this can wait here. Alright, let's go give this stuff to uh, Gorski and see what happens, shall we? Yeah, T12, how's your day going? What are, what are you, 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 what are you up to? Good things, I hope. Again, I'm still concerned that there's a dead body standing next to John the Beautiful. And also, Woot Woot, how's your day going? I don't think we heard anything about your day, Woot Woot. Nothing good? Oh no! It was a bad Saturday? No one wants bad Saturdays. Saturdays are supposed to be notoriously simple days, except when you work in, like, the the uh, customer service industry. Uh, 
But I, I will agree that this has been a particularly long and involved first week of the year, I feel like. I don't remember last year, this first week, being so involved. I mean, maybe that's my own fault for doing, like, a special event and two full streams, a, a light stream, and then having so many other things to do this week. Went well, got my housework and shopping done, and just chilling out now. Oh, that's see, that's a that's a Saturday right there. A little housework, a little shopping, and just relaxing the rest of the day away. That's that's how you do it. All right, Gorski, here's your stuff. Oh, I can actually ask him about this. I want to investigate that infested vault in GMS. Are you derailed? Even the door open for one, one, one. Door open for one more second, you know? Oh, okay. Well, I don't have persuasion, so... How did you meet the Zone Rats? I spent quite a number of years in Core City before I came to SGS, so I know where to look and who to ask when I need something, and I, and I needed a local, capable, low-profile group for our operations. Thus, the Zone Rats. Let's discuss Core City matters. Um, you mentioned something about the Protector trying to get established here. About those energy shields. What's on your mind? What exactly do I go into the... Okay. Get, uh, got them right here. Hand him the package. Excellent. I hope you got a chance to take some of those jerks out of out on the way. No, not really, but that's fine. You could ask Pascal to pre press Gorski about it, but I don't know if it works now. Oh, okay. Who is Pascal, by the way? The name sounds familiar, and I mean, obviously there's like fictional characters named Pascal, but I don't remember what that relates to in this. Or pickpocket off of him. Well, that's not going to happen. We have no skills in that. Or kill him. Well, I'm not planning on doing that yet. Um. So what about steel? Da, 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 da. Okay. Uh, I want to talk about another operations. As your face list, you meant something about the protectorate. Oh, okay, here we go. You want to steal a tunneler from the faceless? Not from the faceless directly. Fill him in, Sneaky. Er, uh, yeah, so the Faceless sent a couple of their machines to bore through the city f cliff face and drop zone. Not sure what they wanted to accomplish with that. They backed them up immediately. At one place, though, they messed up. I don't know if they miscalculated or what, but they bored right out of the cliff and plunged down, landing on some poor zoner's shack. The vault killed the crew and the tunneler is stuck there now. We don't know what state the machine is in or whether we can fix it, but it's worth a shot. There's another problem, though. A bunch of zoners gathered in the shack the tunneler fell into to throw a party in celebration. We'll have to persuade them to leave or remove them forcefully. After you clear the location, you must find a way to get the tunneler operational again. Look around the city and see if anyone's got the ex expertise, but be discreet about it. Are you up for this? All right, I'll do it. Very good. Talk to Sneaky if you need any further details in dialogue. Okay. Did you get an e-shield? Oh, it's the guy dis dissecting bugs in SGS. Okay, gotcha. Um, he did not give me an E shield. Was he supposed to? Was I supposed to get an E shield from him as a reward? Um, of course he wants you to find a way to remove, recover a tunneler that's been st stranded in deep zone on the middle level of Core City. Okay. This one is pretty honest to me if you're willing to just go murder hobo and prep the area with bear bear traps. Gotcha. Um, let's see. Let's see. Tanner wants to find what's happening in rail crossing a system with their problem. All right. Um, Where was I supposed to get one? I don't remember if he gives you one or now or later. Okay, it must be later because he did not give me one now. Um, this question is about the, that tunneler. Where is it? It's on the far northeast side of the mid-level, just across the pipeworks. Pipeworks? It drops Zone's public toilet. Zoners claim it with great pride to be the most disgusting toilet in lower underrail. I don't think that's far off. Uh, do you know anything of its condition? It's crashed, so it's not really in top condition. I can't tell you exactly how damaged it is, though. And to find that out for yourself. Okay. 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 He gives you one before heading out. Oh, it's all, it's on a cliff edge and with narrow bridges, so lots of good choke points. Okay. Oh, we did get two XP apparently from that though. That's that's nice of them. 
Also, my health is apparently... Oh, come on! 83%? Are you joking? Lame. I don't want to have to walk all the way somewhere or spend 20 bucks to go get free med care and then have to come back. Ugh, double, triple lame. Okay, our other gun's reloaded. The hand grenades, like, translate... Okay, I can carry nine of them. I really, really, really wish we had, like, a pocket just for key cards. Or something. That'd be really nice. Same with keys in general. Just... Just give me the keys. Just just a just a key card, please. Anyway, those are all already on top of each other. I do have EMP grenades now, which I guess is nice. Alright, what time is it? Oh, it's only about 2.30. Oh yeah. So to talk to Jack Quicksilver if I want to do that quest. Nothing in there. How much is it for you to take care of my wounds, random hi uh, Heidi? Injuries. Let me see. She inspects you carefully. I can treat you with an invasive and extremely painful procedure, which will cost you 10 Sharons. Not a Sharon more. Not a Sharon more. There you go. Feeling really good. As a matter of fact, I think I'm in the best shape of my life. All right, here's 10, I guess. Good. Now... Be a brave little boy, she cackles. Let her heal you. I think I patch everything up. If your guts fall out, come back to me. Come back to me. Come back to me, cackles. Okay. No idea what's going on with her, but that's, uh, sure. Oh, look, it's Alphabet. Definitely not a robot. He's definitely not a robot. Remember clearly it's cheaper to just hypo and bandage? Well, it could be cheaper. I could see that. But bandages are weird. Um, okay. So. Where are we on ammo? Ammo. Ammo. With that with that, probably. Food. Keys. Knife. Uh, lock picks. Syringe. High explosives. Random quest items. Do I even have plot items? Uh, it's just all the keys. Okay. I guess I could switch out this balaclava now. Oh, I left the balaclava in the barrel, though, huh? I think only my character that went above 10 con, it was a economical to use that. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, I need the one with better stealth, I think. So that one. Perception increased by one. Is, so, perception is going to be less useful than... Well, I guess this also increases my perception by one. So, I guess it doesn't matter which one I'm using. They're both giving me a perception plus one, huh? Okay. I do need more batteries, though. Or a more reliable way to charge this. <clears throat> Either way would probably be... Fine. That one, okay. I can do another one and I'll take it up to 61. Yeah, just switch between them as needed. Yeah. Also, oh, that was the other thing I wanted to do was I was going to fix my armor. Because my armor is pretty low. Where did I put... Oh, did I not get it this time? Oh, I must not have gotten it this time. 
Maybe it was in that other other room back there. Oh well, not a big deal. Because I don't think yeah, it doesn't look like it's on me. So, all right, yeah, let's go find the elevator. We'll go down to the mid section, then head north. Can't get to that ID badge now and put something useful in there instead. Oh, I guess that's true. See, now it should just become a, an XP thing as, like, a quest item now that the quest is over. Uh, I guess we can use Molotov. I don't think we're ever going to get a chance to use nets correctly, so. So, yeah, we need an elevator. We go down to midsection. Oh yeah, also for having too many things to sell, you can deconstruct bad guns or melee weapons, mainly melee weapons, into scrap and then turn them into repair kits. I thought we tried that and it turned out there was something that was weird about it. Like, it like repair kits required like 10 points of uh, electrical or something stupid. Residential, Cortec, JKK, Patreon Security, Commons, Citygate, Metro, Docks, Upper, I don't know where I need to go. Um, let me see. Is this map going to be even remotely useful? Okay, so... Lower under rail. Corsity Gates. Doesn't look like it. Okay. No, if you're making electrical repair kits. Okay. Nets are good, especially when you combo with bear traps. Okay. Well, well we can give her a shot. So, wait. Am I on the right floor already? Because it sounds like I need to go to a different one. But they just said mid station or whatever, which isn't a location. If you're working with purely mechanical weapons and purely mechanical scrap and only need mechanical, you're on the right level. Oh. That's... See? Uh, fine. That's fine, I guess. <laughs> I... That's a, that's a mind-blowing description to me. Like, yeah, go down to the mid-level and then go to the northeastmost area. Okay, I can do that. Where's the mid-level? We're on the mid-level. What? <laughs> What's your mechanical skill at? That's a great question. Let's see. Um, 65. And I have 12 in traps thanks to my cross-training in mechanical and lock-picking. I can blow myself up slightly less effectively. You have more than enough to make advanced mechanical repair kits. Okay, well, if that becomes an option. Okay, so we gotta go northeast, right? Oh, we're going over here where I'm gonna get mugged. I'm trying to remember where the muggers are all at. There was, I think that was just an empty shack. For non-electrical sludge, it's almost always beat to scrap it. Okay. Let's see, so there's a mugger over there. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know if northeast is this way or if it's that way. Oh, okay, this is just the one that takes me over to the thugs that try to kill me. So maybe it's up? Let me go see if I can actually kill that mugger. I mean, he gets to kill me in two hits, so it's not easy. Oh, there's a bridge here. I thought this was just a wall. Oh. Again, if they had, like, the thing that shows you the floor. Huh. Random kebab. It's actually safer to go north straight from John. Oh, okay. Don't need a rag, can't do anything with it. Lock picking. Okay, well, we can definitely overcome that lock picking. K 
Can we rob the mugger? Eh, what's in the refrigerator? It's a eel sandwich. I can give that to John the Beautiful, right? Mug the muggers? Well, we're, we're house robbing the muggers. So they're mugging, but I'm breaking and entering. I'm cat burglaring. What do you got? Uh, we got some black cloth. And, oh, 9mm bullets. I can use that. And the poor people? I don't mean, I mean, we're all... Aren't we all a little poor here in Core City? Uh, these are just zoners, which I don't think they'll attack me on sight. There's a guard. Another shortest commoner. I'm not seeing the fight between Mad Butcher and the Belly Sisters. That would be so hardcore. Okay. I believe you. That to the west is the gauntlet. Oh, this is the gauntlet? Oh, yeah. Gauntlet runners. Okay, yeah. So... Where am I headed? I guess I gotta keep going east then. You have to do a decent level through the air, the arena to do that. Oh, okay. That's where Zane rage quit the module. But I mean, if that's like a. Oh, okay. You have to decent level through the arena to do that. Okay. I'm surprised Zane played this at all. This does not seem like a Zane thing to play. Can't seem to go that way. I don't see a door. Avoid the edges, huh? Okay. See, like, it goes back around over here, but there's no actual door to get into this area. I made him, although I also gave him the most OP build. Oh, okay. It's a drunk. Oh, okay, there's a bunch of gangsters here. I see. I'm walking on literally nothing. Okay, that's fun. Oh, that's the wall in front of it. Again... Tuna. Yeah, it's canned fish. Which reduces our cold damage that we take, which is odd. They nerfed the build now, though. Oh, uh, is this one of your, your max psi builds? Okay, so we got multiple gangsters, huh? Yeah, there's a lot of people over there. Not wrong. Yeah, though, tons of people did max side build. Gotcha. Okay, let's try a little uh, 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 driller fight. All right, let's see what happens. Oh, you're coming over here to investigate me. I prefer you not do that, please. Well, almost. Hey, we got him. Not a very good high chance to hit this guy, sadly. Mm-hmm. Nothing. Okay. Well, that actually worked like I was hoping. Ah, some more people. Okay. Well, that didn't work like I was hoping either. 
Okay, somehow we missed that shot. Don't really understand how, but we did. Oh, that guy's immune to fire, and he killed us one shot with a grenade. Fun. Wow, I didn't expect him to kill me completely with a grenade from full health. You got me there. You got me there. Okay, well that worked. Yeah, my chance to hit that guy is just so low. Guess we'll just wait till he comes over here. Now I don't have to move to shoot him, I guess? Oh yeah, that's much better. <laughs> okay, starting the fight over. Because even though I was clicking on him, my character decided I click move instead of shoot. Fun! So much fun! Unbelievable. Bear attacks basically remove their dodge slash evasion. Ah. Okay, we miss. Okay. I'm assuming this guy counts as being in the light now. Fifty-two. Oh, cool, cool. His pistol does more damage than my assault, my sniper rifle. For reasons, I'm sure it has very good reasons on how that works. Okay, and dead. No, not dead, but we're going to probably die. Oh, that was the wrong thing. Well, that's fine, too. Okay. I don't know why I don't have any movement points. That's really strange. Now oh, they all have turns. Oh, I didn't mean to even throw that. Well, let's just start over. <clears throat> I mean, it doesn't matter, right? Like, you just have to keep trying until RNG favors you. I've, I've, it seems like is really what's going on here, which is fine. That's a choice. Wow, he missed. Color me surprised. Yep, missed and missed. Honestly, yeah, or use enough items to support. Yeah, I guess. It's not really the bullets I'm out running, you know? Wow, two of them resisted it. That's impressive. Also, I don't understand why I don't have any movement. Because I'm not in stealth, so... Sure, I guess. And I don't have enough action points to shoot my gun. That's stupid. But alright. Oh, kneecapped. I was kneecapped. Dead. Alright. Uh, another combat I can't actually win. Fun. Let's just keep doing this, team. To the end of time. Okay. I can't see this guy, so I can't shoot him. <clears throat> I'll just wait till he comes over here and hope, hope to God something happens. 
Okay, now I can sort of see him and I have to hold down tab or I'm just gonna walk because that's how this module works. Okay, we missed 290 shots in a row because that's how that works. We go back to the autosave and set the traps further back. It's fine. I don't I don't care. We're just gonna do this until five o'clock. <laughs> I legit don't care anymore. Like we just have to wait till R and Jesus saves us. So it doesn't matter. When my sniper rifle build is being out damaged by a pistol build, what am I supposed to do? There's there's nothing I can do. Okay, and then it'll stab me and I die. Wow, he actually didn't hit me every time. I am shocked that that guy did not hit me every single time. Oh, he was the weakest one. That's why he didn't hit me every time. Got it. Oh, he's throwing a grenade. And dead. Alright, let's try this autosave and we'll just do something else, I guess. I don't remember which way I'm supposed to go. This way? I think it's this way. Um... Okay, can I shoot him from here or not? Not really. Hmm. How do I want to do this? Because I can't put traps down in combat. I guess I could do it like right here so I can see it from the... Oh, he's coming over here already. Never mind. Low back. Um, let's see. How else can I do this? Use a TNT charge to get their attention. <laughs> okay. This bear trap the entire bridge. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Sure. If that's what it takes, if that's the only way to succeed at this module, is to use 80 bear traps in every fight, I guess that's what we'll do, team. It just works. No, it doesn't just work. We have to go to extre extreme insane links to make it work is the problem. Like, we, ha we have to exploit terrible AI using an insane plan to get this to work. All right, let's give this a shot and see what happens, shall we? Bear Trap Bridge. Save first just in case, sure. Um, let's see, I got one TNT charge left, so... 
I don't know, wherever we want to set that up. Uh, here, I guess. I just needed to be on the other side of the bridge so they walk down the bridge, I guess, right? I'll just go walk over here for a little bit. No, 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 don't leave the zone. Don't leave the zone. Okay. So now, in theory, they should come investigate this, right? Oh, they're just disarming the traps. Okay. Uh, <laughs> they're just disarming the traps. That's amazing. Um, I guess the psionics guy... Cool, cool. Cool, critical hit. Pistol does more damage than my sniper rifle. Blown up by a grenade. And dead. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, I'll just start disarming them. Nifty, nifty. Cool. Okay. Um... See, that's not what I wanted. Cool. Just gonna set this bomb over here. Can't move the camera to see what's going on. That's fun. <sighs> I still love that his pistol's doing more damage than our sniper rifle. might actually work here. Ah, we actually got the refund on it. Oh, one hit. Oh, another random guy showed up. Odd. I don't remember there being another one. Oh, we're out of ammo. That's very rarely ever happened to us. Bleed out at the low in HP. Oh, okay. Dude, why are you shooting your gun? That's really inaccurate. Why don't you just use your imperfectly hitting, like, psionic powers? That's incredibly silly of you. Okay, all patched up. His side ability doesn't have enough range. It should. We've been hit with those light, the the ice blasts from most of the distance of a map. It should have easily been able to hit me. Wow, a perfect throw. And he shoots me, and I'm dead. I icicle tends to be the longest range, and he doesn't seem to have it. Oh, he hit me with it before. Maybe that was something else. All right, dead. All right, let's try her again, team. Nope. Cool. Critical. Oh, okay. Cool. Just blows it up. We're gonna die. 
Let's start over. Do her again. Yeah, I, don't, I still don't quite understand what's going on with, like, the to hit chance stuff. Like, this guy's at perfect distance. One, two, three, four, five, six, like, seven. Nice far away shot. He's in a well-lit area, and I'll only have, like, a 50% chance to hit him. Yeah, 67% chance to hit him. I, I don't get it. If I move, I have a less chance to hit him, so I'll just shoot him from here and hope. Nope. Okay. Bullet area, a rarity, and this is not one of them. What? He's standing right in the middle of a fire, though. Isn't that what this is? Where's your night vision goggles? I mean, I guess I could put those back on. Is, is that the problem? Is that going to help? I mean, he's standing within the effect of a fire, so I'm assuming that it's not dark. Again, that's another thing I wish they would have is, like, indicators of, like, what counts as being in light and what doesn't count as being in light, but... Oh, what am I doing? Um, let's check this one. Not the darkest, but there's still plenty. Oh, okay. I guess so. Okay. Well, yeah, I mean, that, that took it up to almost 80. That's pretty good. Still missed, but it's better, I guess, right? Wow. Aim shot hit me. Okay. I'm surprised he can even target me at that distance, but I guess that's fine. Okay. Got one of them. Cool. Cool. Guess that guy's always one square away. Okay. Wow, missed two ninety-five percent chance to hits, baby. Uh let's shoot the psionic guy. Well, we actually hit that time. Call me surprised. Uh, well, I mean, it doesn't matter to shoot the guys in the in the back or in the front, I should say. Oh, out of ammo. Okay, healing up. I got this five ninety-five percent misses in a row. Wow, that is that's insane. Okay. No. I don't know why they're not shooting me. I'm clearly within gun range. Okay, don't have enough action points for some reason. Oh, grenade, and dead. Okay. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Ten tiles is their range. I'm pretty sure I was in ten, within ten tiles of them, but maybe not.
They were just out of it. Oh. I would know that, but I can't count I can't really reliably count the tiles, unfortunately. Uh I guess we'll set it over there. It looks like turning on the night vision doesn't require action points. So that's nice of them. Okay. Oh, my armor is damaged. Cool. Guy ran away for some reason? That's a choice. Can't target this guy through the wall because I'm not holding tab. Wow, that guy actually died. That's pretty amazing, actually. Oh, throwing a grenade. Ran away again. Interesting choice. Okay. And dead. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I can't count the numbers because we left. Darn it. Um, oh, 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 I need to do the night vision thing first. Okay, then we do the box. Okay, then we go into stealth mode. Hope I don't get hit by the explosion. Step back to, how about that? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, I guess that's two different squares. Ten and then eleven. Twelve. So he's on like... I'm guessing the 12th square. 14 is optimal for the gun, so we should have a pretty high chance to hit him, right? No, it's still the same 79. That doesn't actually seem to change anything. Wow, that actually hit. I'm legitimately surprised. Uh, okay. Well, not dead, but close. Heals up. Oh, there's the grenade guy. Dead. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. I think I have a patch kit, don't I? Yes, yes, I have the, the patch kit. So I'm gonna patch this up then. That's the thing I was looking for earlier that I wasn't sure if I still had or not. So, would that be another 500? Okay, we would waste a little bit, but that's actually not too bad. Well, they weigh two pounds. We'll fix that up then. Okay. Man, that guy must have some amazing throwing. He must have like 150 throwing. Because he's landing it right on top of us every single time. And that's a very long throw. So yeah, his throwing must be maxed out. So that could be another option if you wanted just a bit more to be... To be... To, oh, to hit chan chance. Oh, okay. Uh, alright. Well, we can do that too, I guess. Um, let's see. So over here. Got the, that on. 
So we do eat this, and we drop the box. We go over here and hide. Okay, and then I walk back a few squares. Wait. Okay, let me do that. Let me do this. And then I guess technically the perception check just comes from. Oh, that's the wrong button. Darn it. It's not what I meant to do. Oh well. Missed the 80 percenter. Don't understand the criticals. The damage is very inconsistent at best. Didn't I just fix my armor? I don't understand. Oh, the mask is becoming damaged. Oh, okay. I guess that makes as much sense as anything else. Can I get another shot? Wait, why can I shoot again? That's really weird, but okay. Hoping I'm far enough away. Well, actually, can I stealth? Yeah, and then I can hunt, wait a turn. Oh, okay, now I can snipe again. Wow. I didn't think we'd ever get a chance to actually do that, to be honest with you. Okay, so where'd the other guy go? Oh, they're both still right here. Okay. Okay. Alright, this is just the melee guy by himself, and he was pretty low level. Oh, out of ammo. Okay, we finally did it, team. We finally did it. It took everything we had, every resource we had to do it. But we finally managed to pull it off. Amazingly, we actually finally got there. We had to stay very far away and use lots of bear traps. But we did manage to kill all of them. Alright, so yeah, it's just all bear traps, and we're going to have to buy a lot of batteries and electronic repair kits for our night vision goggles. Um, okay, none of that's worth it. Oh, the gun's good. A couple of explosives. Armor's good. Nothing. I mean, that's just that. Healing item's good. Uh, 7,000 for that one. Nah, boots are, I guess, okay. Oh, 6,000 for this one. That's a solid one. More 9mm rounds. Another hypo. Uh -huh. 3,500. Oh, the boots are only 700. Not worth it. Armor's only 399. Terrible. Why do you have 7.62s on you? Is that... What? Cardboard box and Stygian coin. All right. 3% is outside of being able to auto-heal, of course. Mark four nades? Darn. I guess so. Ugh. Explains why it was insta-killing us, right? Uh, I guess that's only five armor compared to our eight. So ours is going to be better than that one. Plus, this one doesn't have the stealth bonus, but it is immune to burning, which we, we did run into. Unload all these guns. Get a lot of 9mm ammo out of it, which is nice. If we can find someone who wants guns, eventually that could be useful. Okay. 
I guess I never searched these? Or did I just leave... Food? Okay. Nothing special. Okay. Alright, let's go see. Oh, let me save just in case something does insta-kill me. Uh, you missed a corpse? Oh, did I? I thought it was just the four. Let me see. Hold on. So, nothing there. Nothing there. Uh, shell casing doesn't really matter. I don't care about that or that. Is there another one? Oh, that's... Oh, it's on this side. I can't even see it through the ground. Uh, gun. $400 armor isn't worth it. Ammo. Psy booster? Uh, I guess we can take the Psy booster. Well, at least we don't have to worry about buying ammo. There's lots of ammo around. I don't understand how the local government doesn't care about this. It really seems like it should. Oh, we got a lore piece or uh, uh, um, XP piece. We're only three away now. Oh, there's someone. Oh, there's an injured faceless here. Huh. Hanging above the chasm, an, in, an injured faceless stands locked in a sturdy metal cage. He seems badly injured, with blood dripping from his open wounds and feeding the blackness below. Slowly lifting his head, he looks at you calmly, making no unnecessary movements nor producing a single sound. Um, attempt to open the cage and let him out. <laughs> oh, man. He's going to kill us, right? See how? Oh, that's another thing. Okay, we already did that. So, attempt to open the cage and let him out. Let's see what happens. As soon as the face exits the cage, and a sound of something breaking jars the ears. It's the chain holding the cage. It snaps, sending the cage plumbing into the chasm below, the event ending with a reverberation of it colliding with a hard bottom. The faceless, after gathering himself, thanks you with a small nod, but still says nothing. The only sound he produces is the sound of a heavy, difficult breathing. Up close, you notice countless gas gashing wounds on his body, which are slowly slowing down all his motions with what, with horrible pain. Small droplets of blood drip from beneath his heavily scratched, dented, completely twisted mask and further redden the scene. One little detail also catches your eye, or better yet, three of them. Small metal cylinders protrude from his right arm, but not the other. One with one of them being crooked and bleeding from the place where, where it meets the pale skin. The first of these cylinders you cannot figure out from observation alone. After a minute or two you re of rest, he raises, rises as if he were twice as heavy, simply wanting to leave. It is, it is obvious to you he could barely stand, let alone escape the hostile territory he is currently in. Can I ask you a question? The base of Sully shakes his head. Even that motion alone seems to require an enormous deal of effort to perform. All right, sure. Here, have a hyper, a, a health hypo. The base gladly accepts your help. After treating his wounds as much as he able, he gives you another. Lively or not, his chances of success retreat, successful retreat now seem much better. Still, he remains silent. Let him leave. I won't say anything. That's fine. Uh, all right. So that happened. And he just leaves, huh? It's impressive he's able to get away. All right, let's check this thing out. The tunneler, the tunneler seems to be, to have drilled out of the wall several meters too high and smashed into the ground, st stopping a hair's breadth sort of continuing into the chasm. Take a look inside to see a blooded smeared tr troop hold and no bodies inside. Moreover, there is nothing noticeable for you to scavenge as the inside appears to have been picked clean by those who found it before you. The machine doesn't appear to be functional anymore and from visual inspection alone you reckon it, it would need serious repairs in order to make it run again. Mechanics attempt to repair it. You attempt to repair the machine, but quietly, quickly give up, seeing that the damage is far too extensive for you to repair, at least not without any spare parts. Continue. 
I'm gonna need help of a professional if you want to tunnel her up and running again. Huh. You just need more mechanics. Yeah, we just need more mechanics. If we mechanics harder, that's all we have to do, team. Let me check. Okay. I mean, we're pretty close. We're pretty close to a level, so... I mean, we can only put five more points into it, which would take us up to 70. And I don't think I have anything giving me a bonus to mechanics right now, so... Shotgun shells, I guess, technically I could sell. Excuse me. Oh, lock picking 40 required. 85 effective. Okay, so we're we're like four levels away from being able to do that. Which is kind of crazy considering that we've been putting points into it every single level and we're still not able to do it. Hmm, a desk. Ooh, free battery. We actually really needed that. Thin grenade case is kind of useless, but we'll take the battery and the bullet. Anything else in here? No? That's it? Okay. Just the battery it is, then. Oh, you go this way to get over here. I didn't even notice this was a thing. You can pay someone to do it, but it'll cost you a thousand shrons, so not worth it when you'll be going, going into that anyway. Well, 85 was the limit of what we needed for mechanics, right? Is that... So we won't need to go any higher than that? Watch your back, kid. As you're lurking behind every corner. Oh, that guy's a psyker. I could just burn this place down, I guess. Fortunately, with only one place that wants to buy guns, it's not going to do me a lot of good until, like, several days later. So, yeah, 85 was the hard limit of what we needed, right? Not better to go higher for better guns anyway? What is my character doing? Wow, that's a really terrible design. If, you're, if your module... If, if it can't determine the difference between a door in the foreground and a door in the background, you really should <laughs> adjust your map design to accommodate the fact that that happens. At the same time, 1,000 Sharons and you get to spend your next points the way you need them. Well, technically, we're doing the mechanics build so we can build more high-quality guns. So, technically, we do need more mechanics. It's just, what's the limit, you know? That's what we need to figure out. That way, we can start putting points into other things, like more points into throwing, give our give us better Molotovs and stuff, or um, put points into, like, I don't know, maybe we put 10 points into tailoring so we can actually make our own Molotovs, which is the only thing stopping us right now. So it's not a terrible idea. You're not wrong. It's just right now we are technically building up 144 or 141 with under pie. Okay, so 144 is the limit. Or, or is our soft cap, basically, for us personally. Okay. That's good to know. That's good to know. Um, post driller, I guess. Post driller. Post driller. Okay. All oh, right, that mugger's still over here, right? I don't know how to deal with this mugger. Because he'll just see us, right? Can I just, like... Aha! Not a very good high chance to hit, though, sadly. Nope, he already saw us. Yeah, and just dead. Alright. Probably won't hit that until late module, if ever. Yeah. Okay. It's insane. It's insane that there's just no way to deal with stealth like that. Blows my mind. Like, how close do I need to be? So we're here, we can't see him. If I turn this on... 
Okay, we can actually see him from here. Okay, okay, we have like a 70% chance to hit him. That's not too bad. All right, so we actually managed to hit him this time. Okay, we just had to wait for RNG to like befriend us. Ooh, we do get some an, I, an XP item from him. Raw cash, two bear traps. Don't really need a utility belt. His armor's not good. Free hypo. Wow, that's a really high-end crossbow though. Couple hundred bucks in ammo. We can take that. Wait, is the utility belt worth anything? It is a thousand? A thousand for a half pound isn't terrible. A thousand for a half pound isn't terrible. Go up that ladder? Wait, what ladder? Uh Oh, this? Oh, I didn't even realize that was a thing I could interact with. Oh, there's a guy in here. It's Ditch. You don't joke, oh, you die. Okay, well, I'm not planning on touching o Oinko. Oh, okay, here we go. Some more uh, uh, XP stuff. Nice. I don't need the frag grenade case. I can't really do anything with that, I don't think. Um, Can I? I I'll take it with me just in case. I don't remember. And, like, a single bullet casing. Okay. Oinko the best? Well, I mean, he seems like a very nice, a nice piggo. Them stupid zoners been trying to eat my pig. All right. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm happy I helped stop the pig from being eaten. Maybe. Maybe. I, I don't know. He seems like he's got a lot going on. I don't want to bother him. Um, what levels do, um, like, the merchants change gear? Because presumably the merchants got to keep updating their stock of stuff to better, le like, quality stuff, right? Um, let's see. So, what's this? 7.62s. We need anything that. We need this. Pelaclava. And the rest of this can all wait here, basically. John and his new friend, the dead mugger. <laughs> yes. I don't, there's just that one, one dead body next to John the Beautiful. I don't know how it got there. I'm not going to ask questions. They don't accept SGS, which will happen after you complete your job with certain factions in this city. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Do you need guns yet? Or what are, where are we at on guns? Oh, you don't have any money left is the problem. Okay. He's all out of money. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. But we do have numeric, the pneumatic barrel and... And the rapid reloader, so that's good. Oh, you have money. Oh, yeah, wait, yeah, you buy shell casings, so we could actually sell you some shell casings. Buy some TNT. Oh, that's right, we used our last one. I forgot about that. Good call, good call. Um, you want shell casings, right? I don't think you want gun parts, so... Hi. Um, I would like to buy your TNT, please. It's actually not very expensive. I would have thought it would cost more to buy two bricks of TNT, but what do I know? Uh, okay, so you want shell casings, right? How much will you give me for that? Excuse me? I guess it's not even worth it. Okay. She can't, she's not even going to offer me a single, a single, uh, Stygian coin for it. Never mind. She'll buy the belt too? Oh, really? All right. Oh, wait, we can sell those. I don't need regular bolts, really. Because I think, I think I might have a bunch of them on me. Could probably split that up and leave a lot of them here. Ah, she will buy the belt. Nice. 
Wait, you don't want the ammo for this, though? Mm. Fine. Well, at least give me money for the belt. Yeah, it looks like she hasn't refreshed her inventory in a little while. Patching kits. I need an electronic repair kit, right? 150. Wow, that is a complete waste. And the basic one does 150? Ugh. Ugh. No, the other guy buys the bolts. Yeah, but he doesn't have any money. And she'll buy bullets or shells, but she won't buy by era or up bolts. Ugh. Of course, if I want to fix this stupid mask, you have to waste a bunch of freaking money on it. No, I don't want all of them. I just need like one. Just just one split. Thank you. That is obnoxious. At least our armor, I think our base armor, yeah, base armor is still maxed out, which is good. Oh good, this doesn't have a durability on it. That's good, that's good. Man, auto trade. Okay. And we made, I mean, we still made money, just not as much as I would have liked. Oh, you know what? Wait, wait, wait. How much is this? 150. Oh, no, you know what? We won't, we'll only lose 30 of it. That's not as bad. I was looking at the full energy, not the... Not the uh, durability. So we're not losing as much on it as I thought. Okay. Okay, so... Okay, so do I need to, like, go talk to them about finding someone to fix this thing? I guess I can just... We'll just wait, right? Yeah, so we just gotta wait. Alright, so now what do I do? Um... I guess I can go talk to Qu Jack Quicksilver and see what's going on. Well, well, visit Dogbiter McGillicuddy. I told you we would meet again. Abram informed me... You helped him in Junkyard, told me you have potential. We will put you to the test, don't worry. Before all that, I'd like to make a certain thing clear before we proceed. Abe and I are working for a certain organization whose name I can't reveal to you at the moment. The less you know, the better. What we do need to know is that you've shown certain qualities we seek, and if your performance continues to be satisfactory, there just might be more work for you. Everything, and I mean everything concerning Abraham, myself, and everyone. I don't mean everyone involved is what we do. It stays between us. We require maximum discretion, and just so you know, we have eyes and ears everywhere. You get it, don't you? I'm getting tired of talking, so listen up. I'll be brief. I have three assignments for you at the moment. I, you can do them in any order you like. Do you know... Do... Wait. Do know that two of them will require some traveling. First, I want you to go to Foundry and find our cell, our cell there. Once you do, you will be asked who goes there, to which you reply with the, ne the neophyte. Once you're in, talk to... Everard. Ev Everard. They'll tell you what he needs what needs to be done. The quest in Core City is the easiest. Mix. Make a hard save before you do it, and I'm 90% sure you'll be able to do this one fine. Okay. How do I find the cell? My dog fighter McGillica, if I need to tell you such basic thing, you might might not be cut out for this line of work. Where was I? Ah yes. Second, I want you to go to SGS, that's right, and find a man called Lex. Lennox Pierce is in need of our services, so be polite and re re represent us well. And what's the third assignment? The third one's here is in Core City. A man called Oxford Ohad Xander is waiting for you down at the Core City train station. He also needs some help with a certain issue. Go now. Let's not keep people waiting. You will be paid upon assignment completion. If you have any more questions or want to trade, I'll be right here enjoying my drink. Enjoying your drink? Uh... Okay, what are you selling? He's looking to buy two crossbows and one leather armor. I have leather armor. He has 80 bucks on him. Yeah, he's not selling anything. Yeah, he's not really selling anything interesting. Um, Pig leather, not really. 
Yeah, all of his stuff is still the same stuff he had back at, like, the beginning. Okay. I think I do have, like, one leather armor for him, though. Uh, I think. Yeah, I have a few. 4,000. I think 4,000 is probably my highest one. Hold on. 3,500. I think these are different things that are not leather, so I don't think those are going to count. Leather boots might count. Oh, I actually have a, a hand crossbow for him, too. Or a crossbow. I guess there really isn't hand crossbows, right? It's just normal crossbows. Oh, that's, that's all he's... Okay, well, never mind then. And he still can't even afford just one. What's the point then? If none of these vendors can actually afford to buy anything I'm selling them, what's the point? Uh, I don't get it. Alright, so Core City. We're gonna go Core City Weirdos. Core City Weirdos. Ugh, have faith. Have some faith, Ika. What? It's the easiest to make a hard save before you do it, and I'm hundred I'm ninety percent sure you'll be able to do this one. Okay, so we're just going down to the train station, right? I think that was back over this way, kind of where we came in. Well, we're only one XP away from from leveling up, too. Nice. I think the... I'm trying to remember. No, this is like a dead end. Oh, wait. Barrels? There's barrels I missed? No. Oh, it's a gangster. And an old gangster and a dog. <laughs> Man, an old... An OG in this is definitely a very different kind of old school gangster than than in, you know, modern times. Alright, I think the, the elevator takes us down to the train station one way or the other, so... Uh, metro station? Or is that technically, like, a different thing? Katrina and Bomber? Okay. Oh, hello, Zilla. Why am I standing behind? Okay, whatever you say. The young woman greets you with a, with a broad smile, revealing an incisor gap, as well as the fact that most of her lower jaw teeth are notably cro crooked. No, crooked? Crooked. As if someone took a handful of different colored teeth and then just pressed them into her gums until they stuck. So there is no doubt that this imperfect smile has a charming and neat quality. A greeting soon follows. The lower one? Oh, okay, so I gotta go down. Okay, gotcha. Ah, good, to, good day to you, mister. I'm Zilla, and you must be hungry. I am hungry. Do you know Mo by any chance? He has a stall on the lower level. And since he mentioned his name, her so far pleasant and amiable face gets shattered by an eruption volcano of emotions. Yet, she keeps silent, waiting for the inner boiling to die down, and soon enough it does, allowing her f fissured, charred face to... Charred face? Charred face is resolved back to the same one as before. Almost the same. She has a more reserved voice. We ain't going... We ain't gonna talk about him. Is that understood? Let's pretend you never mentioned him, and all will be well. And hardcore. Uh, okay, whatever. Moving on. Uh, what do you have for sale? Ika, they continue to not sell me salads. And I continue to be annoyed with them. Sammy? Okay, next train, Sammy. The next train is yours. You, you can do this. <laughs> is he gonna rob the train, or is he just gonna jump aboard? Hi. How's it going? Hi, how are you? Ah! Well, there's free food in here. All bio damage. Oh, that actually could be useful, because I think poison counts as bio damage, right? Become the salad man. <laughs> What is this salad fetish anyway? Ica really loves salads in this module specifically because they give perception plus ones. 
So he's very, very concerned with me having a, enough roughage. If my character doesn't get enough roughage, everyone, he gets backed up and then there's like a negative to uh, movement speed because he got the tummy trubs and it's just not worth it. Most people don't know about this secret thing. It's a secret thing. Yeah, if your character doesn't eat enough salad and they have a perception over 12, um, you get tummy trubs because you gotta you gotta not get you know tummy trubbed. Wait, this is the oh no, this is the docks. This isn't the right one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you gotta you gotta watch. Okay, metro station. This this one is this what I'm looking for. Oh, yeah, there's Mo. Okay, perfect. There's a cat. It's gonna make a bunch of noise, and it's gonna drive me up the wall. <sighs> um, I don't know if this is the right direction. It doesn't feel like the right direction. Dogbiter's a huge vegan. Well, I wouldn't say that, but he, he appreciates not having tummy trubs. South? Okay, south it is. The 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 con the constipation when it hits it hits hard when you're a dog biter. Oh, there's Omad or Ohad or Xanderman, Mr. Xanderman. The bell man stands still, casually observing his surroundings. He sees you approaching him and thoroughly inspects you with a stare as warm as a glacier. All the while remaining silent, you clearly pick up that he is waiting for you to initiate the conversation. John Quicksilver sent me. His answer is a calm manner. Good. I have work for you. You already know my name, I'm sure, so I have no point in repeating it. I'll just get straight down to business. A trader called Daniel Arda has just disembarked from the train on this very station and, knowing his usual routine, is either dealing with the local merchants or drinking himself into a stupor at the Hardcore City Bar. What do you want me to do? Slow down. I need to explain a few things first before we get there. Daniel has recently added a new product to his assortment, a drug called Hercules, which allegedly increases the user's combat performance. And quite substantially. I believe it's all bogus, and I want you to perform an investigation. If I'm right, and what he does is indeed a fraud, I want him publicly exposed, and therefore humiliated. I want every living soul in Core City to know what kind of a man Daniel Arda is, and what he is doing. I hope I was clear enough. The rest is up to you. I'll be there if you have more questions. Once the job is done, I'll be leaving. Uh, I don't care about why. Um, what can you tell me about Daniel? Can you repeat what you wanted? What can you, what can you tell me about yourself? I don't even know if this is rudeness, but I think you have more important things to do than chat with me. Okay, well, I'll leave then. Yes, yes. All right, so he went up to the merchant's place? <coughs> so I guess we just got to go back up to the hardcore bar, right? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, the elevator's over here. I love that in the, the post-apocalyptic underground feature, they still have kebab stands. The kebabs still flow, team. The kebabs still flow. <laughs> Mitchell and Commoner. It almost makes me want to talk to Mitchell because just because he has a name. All right, so we need an Arda guy. Does anybody know an Arda? Daniel Arda? And the meat is still rat. Well, that's in, that actually makes it more impressive. I mean, I guess if it's rat hound, it's fine. But if it's actual rat, it'd be weird because that's a big chunk of meat. But rats are little tiny things. So it's got to be like a, a hunk of rat hound shoulder or something, right? Mr. Fabbit, who is definitely not a robot. I swear I'm not an elk is not an elk, and Al Fabit is definitely not a robot. There's George. Not a sh super rough apocalypse. They're doing better than Fallout by a lot, for example, but still far from their pe peak. Yeah. Right, I was a rat and a dog at the same time. I agree, T12. Ethan. Where is this guy? There's Bob. Scavenger, thug. Okay, he's not any of those. You walked past him? Wait, what's his first name? 
Is it George? Is that the guy I'm looking for? Metrian East of Bar. Oh, there he is. Okay, he's outside the wall, so I went through here, so I didn't actually I can actually see him. You know, the man just approaches Wait, wait. At first glance, the man you just approached doesn't appear to be anything out of the ordinary. Average height, average build, average amount of dirt on his clothes. Yet the moment he spots you, he slowly puts in, down his half-empty bottle, moves his goggles, and shows you a gaping hole that used to be his left eye, and awaits your reaction. If not receiving any, he puts the goggle back, grins politely, and begins the conversation. Hello, how's it going? Good, you say? I'm happy to hear that. I, honest, I honestly am. Name's Daniel Arda, and it's a pleasure to meet you, friend. Do you know that I'm... Do you know that I know why you've come to see me? He smiles. Hey, I'm just trying to start a friendly conversation. There's something I should know. I don't think you know why I've come to see you. You know, I'm here to investigate the Hercules drug. How? Oh, God. Can we just blow it? Can we just completely blow this, this investigation? I'm just starting a friendly conversation. There's something I should know. Really? Really? You're not here to purchase Hercules? When you say Hercules, what do you mean exactly? Can you tell me about yourself? I ask how you lost the eye. What can you tell me about Core City? When you say Hercules, what are you talking about? He laughs. When I said Hercules, I meant the most powerful combat drug known to man. You might be thinking, I'm derailed, but I'm making this up. But no, I am not. There is a reason in... There is a reason it's named after the famous mythical hero of the old world. Hercules gives you insane power in the blink of an eye, turning you into a superhuman juggernaut whose strength, agility, and reflexes eclipse everybody else's... You can, but don't. Okay. As people around here often say, you're going to dominate. I've had my satisfied customers. I've had many satisfied customers so far, and not a single complaint. What more proof do you want? A. Eh? May I try this Hercules drug? I was starting to get worried you weren't going to make a purchase, he laughs. I sell for any, I will say for 600 Chirons a piece. But since this is your first purchase, I'll go down to 500. How's that sound? It's a deal! Uh, that is a lot of money. Any any greens really that expensive? Listen, friend, let me tell you one simple thing. When it comes to the price of certain products, everyone always thinks it's all about the price of the materials used. But what about the money spent on developing the product, on research, on equipment necessary to create the product, on testing the product, or getting the product to the buyers? Need I go on? No, but half of those things don't count because you didn't do them, idiot. It costs a lot, my friend, and that's why the price is this high. Uh, curses. I shouldn't have spent so much money on booze. I only have, like, 400 Chirons. Well, it's tough luck, friend. It's hard to resist, though. He takes another swig of root soda. Um, that's a lot of money. Okay. Okay, I'll give it a shot for 500 Chirons. Good, good. You know it makes sense. He laughs. Give him 500 Chirons. And here you go. Take this. He gives you one dose of Hercules. Just inject it into a vein and enjoy the power. The effect is immediate. If you want more, you have to wait a while. I only got a few remaining, but I'll be back with a bigger shipment next time. This business is going to flourish, friend. Um, all right. I'll be leaving. We acquired some Hercules. Let's see. You'll increase strength, dexterity, and constitution by five for ten turns, but at what cost? So, <laughs> that sounds ominous. All right. So, now I just got to figure out a way to, like, besmirch this man. Uh, talk to us about you finish all three assignments. Meet Lunar at the Southgate Station. Meet Omar at the Lower Runner Station in Core City. Uh, Omar suspects that Daniel Arda, a trader currently visiting Core City, is selling a fake combat enhancement drug called Hercules. He wants you to expose this fraud to everyone in Core City once you have the appropriate evidence. Okay. So what do I do? Go up to the arena and give it to somebody? And when they drop dead, just be like, Ha! Huh, that's what happens when you take Hercules, idiots. Yeah, the arena's over here, right? <clears throat> I'm just going to inject a random arena fighter with a drug. No one will care. And when they drop dead, I'll be like, look, that's what happens when you take... Oh, it's a barber? Wait, what? The man's saber disappears from the paper to the desk and looks up. Immediately, he posts his crooked index finger at you. Listen, man, I've already told you, you son of a never ki Oh, oh, good. Good day, sir, good day. I apologize for raising my voice, but I thought you were someone else. Some stupid codger has been bugging me all day about, well, never mind. Um, how may I help you? 
What can you tell me about the arena? The answer is simple. The arena is a place where only the most daring men and women come to meet each other and terrifying vicious beasts in brutal combat. All matches are fought to the death and may, many do not survive even their first one. But if you're able to live and dominate the opposition, the good coin awaits you. And who knows? Maybe one day you will get to become a famous gladiator. Is Trudin implying, sir? Uh, sounds really dangerous. I'll think about it. No problem at all, sir. There is no shame in quaking before violent death, he smiles. You think about all that, I'll be here if you decide to apply for the arena. So long. Okay, so can I talk to... Okay, so I don't see anybody from the arena. I could try to break into the office, but that seems like that's not going to work until my stealth is a little higher. Where was the gauntlet at? I bet I can give it to someone about to run the gauntlet, right? Okay, there's John the Beautiful. I think the gauntlet was north here, and then it was west, right? Because I remember Ikka yelled at me, because I got lost, and I went into the wrong thing. And he's like, you fool! You foolish fool who is foolish! Going the wrong way is a foolish deed for foolish people who are fools! I believe that's what he said verbatim. So, I'm so going to dominate this. Um, I didn't yell at you. Okay, well, you said it calmly to me, but... Um, hi, Adriana, is it? It's up in front of a large counter. It's front side as filthy as the ground you were standing on. And look at the one behind it. The accented lines in her face spell fatigue from every possible angle. And after a noticeable delay, she introduces herself with a confused stare, which gets squeezed out of her by her heavy eyelids. After which a verbal reintroduction ensues, at least as soon as she manages to summon the appropriate words. What? I mean, good day. And how may I help you? What is this place? What does it look like? She sighs. Sorry, what I wanted to say was this is the entrance to the gauntlet. All runners apply here and stuff like that. Uh, I'm sorry, I haven't slept in. And never mind. Are you here to um, apply? Uh, why don't you get some rest? Do you think I don't want to? Um, what I mean was, I wish. Oh, how I wish. I, a long, I yearn for a warm bed, one that will embrace me tightly, love me, caress me, and let me sleep for seven days straight, and make the fatigue, the blurred vision, all that go away. She laughs. She sighs. But I can't. Not now. It's a long story. I have questions about the gauntlet. Um, why not? It's not like I got some, some rest soon. I mean, what do you want to know? What is the gauntlet? Um, the gauntlet the gauntlet is a very recent and increasingly popular um, event in which contestants called runners compete in overcoming multiple challenges in dangerous rooms. The goal is to, well, survive the rooms and get to the end before the other runners do. Its growing popularity is uh, largely due to JKK, making sure it's being broadcast throughout the whole underrail. Oh, and since the majority of runners don't survive, she pauses. What I really meant was it's held once a week. Gotcha. Gotcha. She's a victim of the capitalist machine. Ugh. Yeah. I can feel that. She definitely signed a contract poorly. So long. Get some rest. Wish I could. She sighs, yawns, and waves at you. Bye. Bye. Okay, so how do I convince one of these idiots to take... How do I convince one of these idiots to take Hercules? There's got to be someone I just inject with Hercules, and then they die, and then it works, right? Or is this one of those things... Is this one of those, like, dude things where you take the Hercules, and then when you take the Hercules... Wait, read what I said about earlier. What? What? Remember, the client wants proof it's bad, not antidotal proof. Well, no, he wants me to prove it in a public place that it's bad, right? He wants he wants to know, he wants it shown that it's bad for everybody. So he wants me to prove it in a public place, right? Sure, take the Hercules. Oh, we're taking it. Hold on. I have the God-given power to save and roll back time. Get hurt, fool. All right, we're going to herk up. I'm gonna herk up and then I'm gonna bomb something. Um, let's herk up! Herculean might. Okay, what happens? I'm gonna stand here in the middle of the store and see what happens, team. 
We got 40 seconds. Let's party. Let's party down. Do I have any booze? I don't think I have booze. Do I have booze? Hover over the buff icon. Strength, dexterity, agility, and constitution increased by five. Herculean might. Um. Oh, I do have booze. We haven't actually tried booze yet. Oh yeah. Let's, let's get some drinkage on. I can't drink anymore. So now we're drunk and super strong. Let's go fist fight a bear. Yeah. Oh, something happened. Herculean withdrawal. You feel ill. Strength, agility, okay. Reduced by two. Movement points reduced by four. And movement and speed reduced by 15. Oh, it's getting worse. It's getting worse. We partied too hard. Too soon, too fast. Four, five. We're gonna drop dead in the middle of the party. Not that anyone would care, given that this universe is like, whatever. Dang, it's still going. Is it literally gonna kill us or just like take us to like one hit point? Oh, we're taking bio damage every turn. Oh, we died. <laughs> Look at all that bio damage. I should have eaten that food. What was the food? I have food that reduces bio damage. Um, I don't remember what the food was though. Side points. I know I have a food in here that reduces the amount of damage we take. Or it's somewhere, where is it? Is it in this, maybe it's in one of these barrels? I know there's a food we had, or I thought we had. Oh, I already have it on me. I already have it on me. Okay. All right. Well, if this guy just wants a copy of this, I'll just go drop it off to him. I don't care. I thought he wanted me to prove that this doesn't work in a very big and visible, visible way. So I assumed that meant, like, go someplace that was going to be televised and then get someone to die from it. Or, like, fail miserably at whatever they were doing. I didn't think it meant just go buy me one and bring it back. That's a different request. Yes, but not quite what you're thinking. Oh, okay. Um, I think it's this lower metro, right? And then I think he was standing over here, wasn't he? No? South? Maybe I need to go south. You could talk to him, though? Oh, okay. Let me go talk to him. Ah, oh, yeah, there he is. Is it done? Uh, repeat what you wanted? Maybe it wasn't clear enough. Now, Andrew, a traveling merchant has recently added a new product to a drug called Hercules, which allegedly increases the user's combat performance quite substantially. I believe it's all bogus, and I want you to perform an investigation. If I'm right, what he doors doors is a fraud, I want him publicly exposed and therefore humiliated. I want every living soul in the core city to know what kind of a man Daniel Arda is and what he is doing. Uh, okay. I mean, what do I inject him with it? Okay. I feel like I'm missing something about how this works in regards to the public nature of it. Like, I need to inject someone or give it to somebody, but I'm missing the person I need to talk to who's willing to do drugs on TV. <laughs> Billy Bob, are you willing to do drugs on TV? Excuse me, Mo. Are you willing to do drugs on TV? Um. Betraying security. So he doesn't give me any clues about what he wants me to do with this once I have it. Oh yeah, I wanted to talk to Mitchell. 
I once tried getting myself into motion. Never again. Okay. Well, don't know what that means. I'll spell that for you. Nobody wants to do the drugs on TV. Oh, okay. So, I guess I gotta break into somewhere then? Oh, maybe it's, is it the, is it the first aid lady who's obsessed with hurting people? Is it her? But you can put the drugs on TV. Oh, okay. Um, let's see. Do you know anything about a merchant named Daniel Arda? Let me think. Hmm, hmm. I know this man, I do. A traveling merchant, if I remember correctly. He rarely comes to me, but last time he was in Core City, he walked through those doors, she cackled. She had a, he had a surprise for me. He said, yes, he did. Hercules, as he called it. The combat drug that increases one's effectiveness in, you guessed it, combat. So he tried to sell me. She cackles. It seemed interesting at first, it did, but he failed to show me any concrete evidence which proves his effectiveness, so I showed him the door. Yes, I did. Oh, okay. Some question about the city. I'd like to have a certain substance tested. Oh, but I can't help you with that. No, I can't. I don't have any lab equipment here. Do well, you know someone who who has? What does he want to test anyway? Uh, Hercules, the drug that's being sold by the merchant Daniel Arda. Oh, that still. I don't think you'll have much luck finding someone willing to do tests for you. No, no. You are welcome to try, but don't have any labs open to the public in Corsi, which is unfortunate. Unfortunate, she crackles. Huh. Okay. Be going then, I guess. Alright, so. What does that mean? Uh, there's no place for me to sneak into. I guess I can go. Do you know any labs that could test it? I mean, we could probably go back to SGS and see if one of them could. We've got, um, what's his name? We talked Percival or whatever we talked about earlier, or um, our doppelganger guy, Harland, or uh, Hartland, or whatever his name is. Um, otherwise, for chemistry labs, I'm not sure. So I don't think Rail Station had anything going on. Oh, I can just walk in here? I thought I'd have to sign up. Oh, that makes this much easier then. Oh, Gladiator, you wanna have some drugs, right? I'm gonna zone out next guy that challenged me, yeah. Getting ready to dominate. Okay, none of you have names. Let's try Boyus. No one rule when disposing of crawler carcasses. Have someone else do it, he he he. Loot locker. This is... Okay, he can see me. Oh, these aren't... These are free game. They're free... Free module? I'm sorry. Free module. Free module. Hey, we got an, an, uh, an XP. We got an XP. Level up. Let's go. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, we're just doing perception. We now have a perception 13, which means eating roughage is even more important than it was before. Okay, skills. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We're not doing that one yet. Dodge, evasion, stealth, hacking, lock picking. Mechanics up to 70. Uh, I got five points left. Wait, only five points left? Why does that not seem right? Haven't I been ending with 10 points left at, after I've done all the rest of this? Huh. Weird. Um, well, we don't need more chemistry, right? We were going to stop at 15. Um, huh. I guess we can just put more points in the throwing now. Unless I wanted to put some more points into Intimidation. We need more, but later? Oh, for the chemistry thing? Uh, for chem, yeah, all right. I guess we'll just put points into Throwing then. All right, oh, we do get a feat. 
think ambush was the next one we were working on. Shotgun attacks. Does an additional one to two points of mechanical damage. Sharpshooter. Critical, critical damage bonus when with pistols, crossbows, and sniper rifles when fully focused by 30%. I mean, that's nice, I guess, with aim shot, but I don't know how focused works. I know, Ika, you sent me a thing about it, but it still didn't make a lot of sense. Conjuring fire, spec ops. None of that's going to affect us. That's the ability that when activated converts all remaining movement points into thrice the evasion for two points, for two turns. Not too bad, but I think ambush is probably going to be our next most important one. Lowers the stealth movement speed penalty to 30% and allows you to retain up to 15 movement points in combat while stealthed. I don't know about that. I don't know. I think basically if you don't move your last turn, you're a focus. Oh, interesting. I mean, I guess that would work really well with snipe and aim shot on like turn one, right? As long as we haven't moved in the last five seconds. So it just caused both of them to do like, well, I guess it would only work on aim shot. Firearm pistols receive this bonus at all times, regardless of focus. God, that must be what they're hitting me with. Like that sharpshooter mixed with aim shot must be really put in the work for them. And that's why their aim shots do so much damage. All right, but we can try ambushed. They can target from out of the darkness with a single target range weapon, ignore half the target's evasion, and their critical chances increase by 20 plus 0.3 for each stealth skill point. All right. Yeah, we can try this, though. Yeah, ignore half the target's invasion, so that's actually pretty solid. That'll increase our chance to hit pretty good if we can set these up in the right cir circumstance. Half the evasion booster to hit chance a ton. Yeah, this, it's just setting up these circumstances, right? Like, I guess the, this, the trick here is going to be using, like, a flare and then a... Like, flaring to get them to walk to a location, and then they step in a bear trap, and then I, like, shoot them? <laughs> While standing outside of the flare? Does that make sense? Thank the lurkers. You have the Twitch world go around. We always appreciate you. Anybody who checks the VODs here on Twitch or checks the VODs in the YouTube repository, thank you. It's always greatly appreciated. Um, but yeah, that'll be it for me, everyone. Thanks for hanging out on this kind of relaxed Saturday stream. Uh, it was just a long week, and I needed I needed some time. But thanks again, everyone. Um, I hope to see you all back tomorrow. And yeah, yeah, I think I think that's gonna be it. Yeah. Bye.